Hey everybody, welcome back to TPG's World. It's me, TPG. It is the 14th of April, 2019, and I'm going to be sitting here doing a vlog for you guys. It's what I like to call vlogging after midnight or vlogging by candlelight. You know, I go out vlogging after midnight. No, it's like actually about 10 o'clock here, but I'm just sitting down to do a vlog and I want to talk to you guys about so many things. So, so let's just get started and do it. All right. So first of all, I want to clear up one thing. Nobody ran me off of YouTube. I left YouTube because I have to take care of some things in my personal life. As I explained in my video, I'm doing a play, which I'm in rehearsal four nights a week for. I am working two jobs. I'm taking care of my father because my father is living by himself now. So you know, I'm making sure he eats and taking care of him and, and you know, I, I went over to try and clean his house up for him and so I'm just doing a lot of stuff like that with my dad and uh, so I've just been really busy and I just had to kind of put making videos and things on hold so I'm back now trying to vlog. I, I can't say it's going to be every day guys because the next three weeks is going to be kind of hectic with this play but um, again, I, as soon as the play is over, I will be doing as much as I can. Because uh, my pool will be open again, guys, soon, and I'll be able to be out in my pool vlogging like I did last summer and doing live streams from my pool and stuff, and I had a great time doing that last year. So anyway, let's just start from the beginning. As I said, my father is living by himself. Now, he's, he's doing okay. I mean, he's kind of lonely at times, and I, I get it. You know, he's been surrounded by my mom. They were married 49 years and things like that, so he is um, a little lonely, but um, I've been trying to do stuff with him. Um, I, let's see, I, t we, uh, I took him out to dinner the other day to my favorite restaurant, so we got to eat there, and he really, really enjoyed that, um, and like I said, I've been going over and spending a little bit of time with him, having dinner with him and everything, and of course, uh, we cook him dinner, we take it over there, last night we had him over here to my house, and we all watched that movie, Welcome to Marwin, which I want to talk about that, I'm going to do a review on that, probably on a video coming up soon. And uh, he thoroughly enjoyed that, and he got to spend some time. He loved waffles. He enjoyed waffles. She sat in his lap most of the whole time, and so he just totally enjoyed her. He said, if I ever go out of town or whatever, he wants to uh, be able to keep waffles, because he just totally adored her. And she was so sweet to him and so kind, so I was really happy that they, they have a little bond between the two of them. So that was, that was just so cool. Um, what else have I been up to? Um, well, I went and saw the movie Shazam with my friend Whitney, who played uh, Tracy Turnblad in Hairspray, and... Uh, I'm going to talk about Shazam in another video as well. But other than that, guys, I pretty much, I, I, I was off all week, um, so I was able to get a little bit of rest. I did work a little bit more than I should have at Duncan, but um, I worked my butt off, actually. But um, it's okay. I'm saving up to, I'm um, catching up on some of uh, my student loans and my medical bills, and I'm saving for a little tiny, I just want to take a little vacation out of town. Not long, you know, just a little weekend out somewhere just to kind of get away, probably either right before school's out or... When I do the summer program, I'm going to be working with the reading program for uh, second, third, and fourth grade kids, I hope, this year. Uh, it's a summer camp, and the kids go through reading. They do a lot of writing. So I did it last year, if you guys remember, and I had a blast. I loved it. So um, I hopefully will be doing that this summer. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, so hopefully that'll be going on, and I'll still work at Duncan. So either before summer is over or before sometime next year, I will take a break. I'm going to take a little vacation. Either before I go to that or right after that, before I start back next year. Just a, you know, like a little weekend trip. I'm not sure where I want to go. I'm really leaning towards Charleston, South Carolina, because that is my favorite city, and it's also where I'm from. So anything else? Oh, I, I got good news. I am going to be directing uh, a year from now, one year from now, a production of Annie. I love Annie. It's one of my favorite musicals. And uh, I actually made a list of shows years ago that I wanted to direct, and I've done all of them except for Annie. So... I'm very excited that um, I'm getting the opportunity to direct Annie, and I, I, like I said, I just love the music. It's such a feel-good, cute little musical. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's that it's got such a great positive message. You know, the sun will come out tomorrow. That's your bottom dollar. That tomorrow there will be sun. And I sometimes have to think about that in life. Uh, so people, I want to thank everybody who has been writing me and sending me cards and thanking me. Uh, for your wonderful, wonderful support and love um, through my being ill also with this stroke. And that was another reason I had to leave because I was just so stressed. And when I went to the doctor, he said, you know, you need to take some time off. And I just really had to sit down and just kind of like mellow out and figure out what in my life was right and what in my, my life was wrong. Now, someone sent me a message and asked me, do I have any after effects of the stroke? Well, not too bad. The only thing is that my fingers don't work right in one hand. But other than that, um, it's, it's, um, 
you know, other than that, they're not saying they don't work right. Um, it's, I'm trying to think of the right word, guys. They, they work, but sometimes, like, I can't grasp things. Sometimes I'll be dropping things. I was real klutzy with them. And, they, you know, they, they just, they don't work like they did fully at one time. I mean, they're not cramped up or anything. It's just like this weekend, I noticed I was having some trouble holding on to stuff sometimes and, um, and remembering a few things. So I think that might be a little bit of an effect. But it's not like my hand is, like, crippled or anything like that. That's the only thing I've really, really noticed right now. Um, but anyhow, I am just so excited to uh, be working on this play, Honky Tonk Angels. Like I said, it's a, it's a little bit of a drive, but I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm very excited to take my dad to see it. I'm also taking my dad to see a production of Legally Blonde, the musical coming up. Um, but it's just hard for me to spend a lot of time with my dad whenever um, I'm doing a play because the, where I'm directing the play now is like a 45 minute drive, 30 to 45 minute drive, sometimes an hour, but usually an, not usually an hour when I drive. Um, but um, it's um, it's a fun little play and it's a fun little town, but you know, I don't get to see him as often because I have to leave a little bit earlier and stuff like that. So, you know, it is what it is as far as that's concerned, but um, as far as the drive, but he knows and he understands, but I make sure that I feed him and I call him and check on him before I go to bed and everything like that. Um, and when I get home, you know, drive back into the city, I call him and if he needs anything, and of course I always have my phone on, so my dad knows he can call me anytime. So he's actually doing okay, guys. If you still want to send him a card, he loves those cards. He was so excited. He got one from Maxine and he got one from uh, Molly and he was just ecstatic to have them. So he's so excited. He just loves them so much and how they just cheer him up and he just can't believe people are just kind enough to send him cards. So he really does love that, guys. Um, if you want to send him one, send it care of me. Um, I'm not going to give my dad's personal address because I don't, you know, never know people out there in the world. So, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, I start back school tomorrow. We go back. We're off spring break, so it's a bummer. But I have to say, honestly, I miss the kids. I, I, I say this so often, you guys, and, and I really mean this. I'm one of the few people in the world that truly, truly do love my job. And uh, I love what I do, and I love being a part of, you know, people's lives and, and getting to change people's lives and, and really work to educate people and stuff like that and I also really enjoy my job at the donut shop we, we had a great time today we just laugh and cut up and just have a good time and, and you know when I had that stroke one of the biggest things I realized is that life is just it's too it, you can't spend it hating people and holding grudges and things like that so I want to say to anybody who I've offended or hurt your feelings in any way, shape, or form, I'm very sorry. Sometimes I allow myself to get caught up in things I shouldn't, so I am very, very sorry if I have hurt your feelings in any way, shape, or form. I hope that you will personally accept my apology because I, I shouldn't, I just I just sometimes don't think about things the right way. But uh, so if I've ever hurt anyone's feelings, I am so, so, so sorry. Um, another question people ask me, am I gonna do live streams again? Eventually, yes, I will. Um, I had to work on some I have to work on a time frame to do it because, like I said, right now with the play being in rehearsal four nights a week, at least five nights probably, because we open in two and a half weeks. I'm in rehearsal so much. I, you know, like I said, I leave at like five thirty. I get there rehearsal six thirty. Then I get home at nine thirty, ten o'clock. You know, something like that. So it's kind of like bam, 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 and it's just it's just crazy. So I don't get time to to do it. And I have been working a lot at Duncan because a I got a raise, and b because. I'm, I'll be at come my year my year anniversary is coming up there and I get to take a week's vacation and they average your hours um, for the last 10 weeks that you work as to how much you get paid and things like that so I've been really putting in some hours like I, that's why I did like two or three days extra this week and stuff like that and just things like that so it's it's pretty cool in that in that aspect but I'm enjoying it I'm like I said over the summer I'm probably gonna work I will some the summer school program is only like Monday through Thursday, so I'm gonna definitely take every Friday off unless I'm needed. Or what I might do is I'll work like Friday, Saturday and have that Sunday off and then the next week I will work like uh, Saturday and Sunday and have Friday off. Just so I always have a day off because here lately I have not had a day off. So this week was very, very, very I'm uh, needed, needed. There was two days I just slept all day. I, did I get anything done? No, I didn't get anything done I needed to get done, and I, I hate that. But I just absolutely needed to rest and get myself caught up. And like, and I said, like I said, having this mild little stroke, it kind of threw a loop in things for me. But it also made me realize so many things that I needed to take in perspective. And one is trying to live my life 
better with Christ and with the people in my life. Um, I've been listen, really evaluating my relationship with God and things like that. And um, my taking a little bit of a spiritual journey as well, where, where I believe and where my faith lies and things like that. Um, so I'm very proud of that and very happy that I'm finding myself closer to that journey again. Um, I don't talk a lot about that with people because I don't, you know, I don't want to ever push my religious views on people, but I am a Christian. I do believe in God and I believe that he is a wonderful, loving God. However, I don't believe that God is a racist, no prejudice God. I think that God loves everyone unconditionally, no matter what. And I think that if you love God and accept God, he's going to love you back. Just like people. But anyway, that's enough about that. Um, not saying that in a bad way. I just, like I said, I don't talk about religion and politics a whole lot because people really get offended when you say things about that. When they find out your spiritual beliefs or your political beliefs, they tend to, you know, can get kind of crazy sometimes about it. So I don't really talk about it much, uh, even at school. Like, we don't discuss it, you know, just, just in general. But um, other than that, that is pretty much what I've been up to, guys. I am just counting down slowly. Um, the end of the school year is coming. Thank God. Um, the end of this month, uh, the end of April, I'm going to be going to the Special Olympics. I'm very, very excited about that. I can't wait to do a video and talk about that. Um, yeah. Other than that, guys, just like I said, taking care of my dad. I just wanted to come on and do a quick vlogging by midnight or vlogging after dark. I did do Shazam, see Shazam. I have a new Funko Pop that I have in the background that I am going to show and do a video on this week. I might try to sit down and do that tomorrow before rehearsal. I'm going to try to do a review on Shazam. And I do want to talk about that movie, Welcome to Marwin, because that was a very interesting movie. And my dad loved it. It was a very interesting concept. And it's based on a true story. And that's, uh, was just, that was just, oh my gosh, it's just such a, a really, the, the concept of the movie is just amazing. Um, I want to see Dumbo really, really bad. I was hoping to go see that this week, but I didn't get a chance. And I'm really, really excited about Breakthrough, which is coming out. It stars the girl from uh, This Is Us, and um, it's another true story. And I really, really, really want to see that really bad. So anyway, that's it, guys. I am excited about Annie. I cannot wait. Like I said, that's a year away. I've got two more directing projects, I think, coming up in the works. This one, and then probably one to two more. Uh, coming up right at back to back, but um, Annie is going to take up a lot of my time. But I'm so excited about it. I am so excited to finally get the chance to do that show. Um, anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks, guys, for everything. I love you guys. Remember that hating is a disease, and some folks need to get well soon. Always be the best you that you can be because everyone else is taken. But most of all, in a world where you can be anything, guys, just, just be kind. Okay, guys, peace. Love you. Bye. Oh, did you guys like my new name change? I went ahead and changed my name, so I hope you guys love it. Um, anyway, guys, see you later. Bye.